Hi, I'm Curtis Fleming. Welcome to this week of Fly Rod Chronicles. We're down here at Pipe Sim State Park of wild and wonderful West Virginia. We got a couple of good friends from Ontario, Canada that's gonna join us here a little bit later. Good people, great fishing, and the mountains. We also got DNR director, Stephen McDaniel, and his son that's coming in from Wyoming. Why do the Canadians come down here? This is what we come for. It ain't just the fish, man. Yeah. It's, this is what it's all about. It's always special when you can share something like that with your son. Catching your first fish on a fly rod is a special thing. Young kids today, they don't go there like this yeah. all day. You'll see that this morning. Made the trip. Stick around. It's going to be a heck of a show. Traveling the world, fishing, enjoying the great outdoors. Those are things that would have seemed impossible to me when I was a kid growing up in the mountains of West Virginia. I'm a lucky man and I never want to forget it. And I'm hoping that sharing my experiences with folks will inspire them to do the same. I'm Curtis Fleming and these are my Fly Rod Chronicles. You know, Pipe Stem State Park, it has a special place in our heart. As I look around, the personal memories that I have here was my wife and I, we came down here on horseback from clear up on top of that mountain behind us and came down and we got to fish as husband and wife. And uh, it was a pretty special time for me. We were also here during Hurricane Sandy. Um, we didn't realize it, but the state of West Virginia was in a state of emergency. We were down here just jacking fish. You're kind of protected down here in this huge valley. And uh, we had no idea what was going on above. And I mean, it was piling up with three foot of snow and, and we just kept catching fish and big fish. The Bluestone River is an incredible fishery. You know, it's been a while since I've been down here and um, I can't tell you how excited I am to get out on the water. I'm gonna do a little pre-scouting. I just kind of want to see what the water flow's doing, what kind of bugs they're interested in this morning. You know, when I'm wading out in the river here at Bluestone and I just see the years and years and years of cutting out the erosion that's taking place in this beautiful large gorge, it really makes a big guy like me feel small. There we go, there we go. Oh, oh, he's feisty. Thank you, thank you, thank you. The memories of being back at Pipe Stem here, baby. Come up and snag that booger. Oh, yeah. Good rainbow. Woo. Welcome back to Pipe Stem. Fish on. It's going. Oh, yeah. Water's fast over there. Got the plane, get him over here in the slow park. Oh yeah. I don't think he has realized he's been hooked yet. Now he has. Oh yeah. I'm gonna try to get him out. Fast water. Get him in front of me here. All right. That's how she's done. <laughs> Thank you, Pipe Stem, West Virginia. We switched up a little bit. I'm gonna show you this fly in a second. So the fly's out. The fish is absolutely gorgeous. He's ready to go, my dear. See ya, took off. So. Today, we're going with the six weight rod, just running a, a, a simple nine foot tapered leader. Um, water's murky. I, I, I went down to 3X and we're using 
acrylics. You know what's great about pipe stem? Um, good place for you know groups to come. Um, you know, some buddies, father, son, father, daughter, husband, wife. Um, business retreats, team building. Um, you're just so secluded down here in this canyon, and fish do that to you, and they make you look bad on camera. We've got uh, the director of West Virginia Department of Natural Resources, Stephen McDaniel, and his son, Paul. Um, Paul was uh, out in Wyoming and come all the way in to be with his dad. So uh, I think they're going to hit it at a good time because the water's coming down and the fishing's only going to get better. Closed captioning brought to you by Soft Science. Supreme Comfort Footwear. You know what's great about pipe stem? Um, good place for you know groups to come. Um, you know, you're just so secluded down here in this canyon, and fish do that to you, and they make you look bad on camera. So we've had the river to ourselves all day. We've got uh, the director of West Virginia Department of Natural Resources, Stephen McDaniel, and his son, Paul. Um, Paul was uh, out in Wyoming and come all the way in to be with his dad. So uh, I think they're gonna hit it at a good time because the water's coming down and the fishing's only gonna get better. We have lifelong friends, uh, we started out Oh, I think I met Kurt when I was probably 11 or 12 years old. And one thing that drew us to one another is our love for fishing. I can't tell you how many hours he and I have spent, not only in West Virginia, but many other places, uh, chasing trout and bass and, and steelhead. You get an appointment from the governor, and I mean, I think I could have predicted this as a kid, because we, we used to fish together, we used to go to Hinkle and Digging Lake, we'd go to Spruce Knob, and, and, and dry fork would love to stay, but your passion, for anyone that doesn't know, Stephen McDaniel, you lived hunting, fishing, outdoors, shooting. That's your passion. You know what, Kurt? Yeah. You and I and many of our friends were lucky that we had adults that took the time yeah. to introduce us yeah. to the sport of fishing and hunting. And you know, as kids, that's what that's what you did. Yeah. You know, we didn't have computers, we didn't have you know, Xbox and things like that. Right. If you had time off, you know, you know, we had a fishing rod in our hands or we had a bow in our hands or, yeah. and we just chased wildlife in, in West Virginia. Yeah. And uh, we spent our whole lives, I spent my whole life doing it. And you know, I've spent a couple of great days here with you and my son. Yeah. I watched my son catch his first yeah. fish on a fly rod and uh, that, that's really what it's all about. Oh, good, all right. Uh, now, now don't horse it, just, just take your time, take your time. That's it, let, let, let him go. If he runs, let him go. You're doing good. It's a nice one, about 16 inches, 17 inches. Ready? Right, there it is. Awesome. Go on, buddy. It's always special when you can share something like that with your son or your daughter. Uh, Catching your first fish on a fly rod is a special thing. It's time for Trout Unlimited's Release of the Week. Would Grandpa would be real proud of him right now. He's up there looking down on us. He, I'm sure he'd like to be here with both of us. Hopefully he's hooked like I am and he'll continue to be as passionate about it as his dad and the rest of his family have been. I drift to a time and a place long ago 
As a child to my grandfather's parlor I go The sound of his fiddle as it splits wide the day Is a welcome sweet haunting from a time far away Spin to reel and I'll float to waltz As my cares are all swept away I weep as I hear him play Oh, Danny boy My spirit soars high As the ghost fiddler plays Can't get enough of Fly Rod Chronicles? Check us out online. This segment is brought to you by Fly Rod Chronicles Signature Rods. You know, I love coming down here to the Blue Stone River. This place is just rugged. It's something that you dream about and see on calendars. This Sean. Oh yeah, baby. Yeah, Eric and I uh, grew up together in uh, Toronto, Canada, and uh, went to school together. And we fished all over the country in Canada, and we, we found our way down here to West Virginia, actually meeting Steve McDaniel. And we got talking fishing. He invited us down here to try out these beautiful streams in West Virginia. And uh, we've been coming down ever since. It'll be 15 years. We fished from uh, Alaska, British Columbia to Newfoundland to the Bahamas and uh, by far this is one of our favorite places of fish. It is our favorite. Um, it's just a simple predictable trip and easy and uh, and of course the, the scenery is the greatest. So uh, yeah we love uh, coming down here and uh, we get to see new water every time. When we come down here to fish um, we always check out the West Virginia uh, DNR website. It's been very, very helpful. It all makes it easy to come down here from out of country and fish incredible waters and catch incredible fish. You know, it's pretty cool on our way down here to Pipestem. We stopped at the Cabela's in Charleston, West Virginia. We talked to a good buddy of mine, Eric Davis. Eric said, hey, he said, I want to put something together, a really nice package for those guys from Canada that come down here every year. And uh, man, I think it really surprised Larry and Eric. Thank you very much. Yeah, I appreciate Jeez. that. Hopefully you guys can use this this oh, weekend. Yeah. That was pretty special what the Cabela's boys did for us. Come all the way down here. Pretty cool. You know, we're appreciative people. It's just how we roll down here in West Virginia. Curtis, man, this has been this the ultimate yeah. trip. You know, Fly Rod Chronicles, the one thing that we look forward to is our Westervelt Ecological Conservation segment. I'm going to just read this. This is really cool here. It's Westervelt Ecological Services, time for conservation. In 1968, the Wild and Scenic Rivers Act was passed to protect our nation's most important resource, and that's water. Specifically, undammed rivers and streams flowing through natural landscapes. In 1988, the rugged and undeveloped Bluestone Gorge qualified for inclusion into our Wild Scenic River system. 10 miles of the lower Bluestone River beginning here in Pipe Stem Resort State Park and continuing downstream to Bluestone Lake in the New River was designated as a National Scenic River. You know, it's taken national acts to, to protect this. And it was just neat to read this of how important our water system is. You know, Westervelt, that's what's cool about them. They try to do things themselves just like this. They try to protect habitat. They try to protect land. They try to protect water. And they're doing an incredible job. And we're just honored to be part of it. Stick around, we'll be right back 
with more Fly Rod Chronicles. Pipe Stem Resort, uh, you know, nestled here in Summers County and in this canyon, was built not only to take advantage of the, of the natural beauty, but it was built as a, as a family resort, like you said. We not only have fishing and hiking, we have swimming, uh, golf, horseback riding. People come down the tramway that we rode down to get in here. They ride down into the canyon, they can spend an afternoon here, do some fishing, and then and go back up to the up to the top of the mountain. But it's a full service resort. It's, it's a beautiful place to visit. You know, we're probably only three and a half hours from Charlotte, North Carolina. We are, I think, one of the best kept secrets, and, and we don't want it to be a secret anymore, one of the best kept secrets in the, in the, in the eastern United States. So you, you, you broke your rod? Yeah, I broke it. They broke right at the ferrule. It's really weird. I mean, I broke, I tried to shave it with the knife you gave me, but the knife was, wasn't sharp at all, so I couldn't. <laughs> so that's our new Fly Rock Chronicles rod. You love the logo, right? Yeah, absolutely. That's it. And we got, we got our logo over here. And I, I, know, I know you're used to this. What do you call that? Float. Float. There you go. Thank you, sir. All right. All right. See if I can bust this one. No row on that. No row. <laughs> all right. No, that's a little. Huh? No row. Yeah, time sure flies, man. When we think back of how long we've been coming down here, but this has certainly been a trip to remember. Fly fishing with Curtis and with one of his rods. It's really good. Even with this wind, I can punch it out there. Well, we're gonna head back to the cabin and then pack up tomorrow at noon and head back home. So uh, we had a short night last night. And then uh, Tyson decides to get up and fix his pancakes, sausage, and uh, I could see the sun coming up. And I could hear people moving around here at Pipe Stem, but I thought, man, it's too early to fish. I said every year we come down, we bring them down a liter of uh, Ontario maple syrup. And then I started smelling the pancakes, so that brings me out of the bed. And, and we all start gathering around the griddle and uh, got pancakes going, coffee going, and then we hear a distance, kind of a, maybe a help or a, hey. So we all kind of ran around the side and there's young Paul. He's hooked into a monster of a fish. So we're all gathering around, trying to grab stuff, grabbing a net. Just let it wear itself down, I'm coming. He had that big fish on, and man, it, it was just pretty cool to see him locked in. I tried to sleep in this morning. There's always a commotion out here. Paul had to come out and wake us all up with a big fish this morning. Oh, <laughs> a boy. Even though you won't let a man sleep in. Everyone was giving him a little bit of instruction the night before because he had caught his first fish on the fly rod. You know, he took it all in, and that was neat to see. He played that fish uh, exactly the way he should have, and then you got father and son, you got the DNR director, McDaniel, trying to net it for him, and, and he does take a couple stabs at it to his defense. Um, the, the, the morning glare was just right on him, and, um, and finally they got it in, and you're talking about a celebration. Yeah! Woo -hoo -hoo. Yeah, baby! That's it right there! Welcome to wild and wonderful West Virginia! Woo! Look at this! It was an international celebration because then the Canadians roll out and it was a party in Pipe Stem, West Virginia. And you wonder why we come down here. Why? Why do the Canadians come down here? This is what we come for. It ain't just the fish, man. Yeah. It's, this is what it's all about. Young kids today, they don't know yeah. they're like this yeah. all day. You'll see that this morning. Made the trip, buddy, made yeah. the trip. You know, it was neat having Paul down here with us. You know, 
we're kind of old timers and and all of us was talking about how we had fathers and mentors and people that brought us into this sport and to see Paul taking all this in and catching his first fish on the fly rod it, you know it, it, it was a kind of brotherhood it was really cool each week we try to top the next show I got my work cut out for me. <laughs> Come back next week for more Fly Rod Chronicles, baby. Everybody was packing up, going in different directions, you know. This was just icing on the cake. I mean, this is just the way you should end the show. And uh, the good Lord just scripted that fish for us. I'm just a fishing bully. I've got to get there one way or another, I'm a fishing bum.